2012 FA Cup final was an all-Premier League affair between two modern-day rivals. Chelsea, led by interim boss Roberto Di Matteo, were looking to win the trophy for the third time in four years. It could also provide the first piece of silverware in a potential double, with the London club set to face Bayern Munich in the Champions League final two weeks later. Liverpool made their second Wembley final appearance of the season after winning the League Cup in February. Could Kenny Dalglish lead the Reds to a domestic cup double for the first time in 11 years? The Chelsea lineup, Cahill and Louise may well be fit for the Champions League final, but they were well short for today, so Basingwa benefits. Juan Mata is afforded the platform to support Didier Drogba, who has scored seven goals in seven cup finals. The form of Skirtle and Agar is such that there's no starting role for Jamie Carragher in defence. The youngest players on the pitch are those in central roles, Henderson and Spearing. And as at Norwich last weekend, Steven Gerrard will pull the strings for Luis Suarez. There is no Andy Carroll. So a record 763 teams set out in August. Stabridge, Swindon and Crawley deserve honourable mentions. Some individuals too, Thierry Henry for his timing, Fabrice Mouamba for his tenacity. But now we are down to two. Final check of the timepiece for Phil Dowd, the match referee from Staffordshire. A broad stage and two global ambassadors for English football. The 131st FA Cup final, but the first to pick Chelsea against Liverpool. Goodness knows they've met often enough in recent seasons. 31 times in the last eight years. Three Champions League semi-finals. We had Garcia's ghost goal. Dramatic penalty shootout. They contested a League Cup final as well. And Drogba feeds Lampard, who feeds Drogba again. But Kenny Dalglish has twice masterminded victories over Chelsea this season, once in the League Cup and once in the League, both at Stamford Bridge. Mata. Ramirez. And he's beyond Enrique. Ramirez for Chelsea. Well, I've got to say, Jay Spearn gives it away with a sloppy pass. Lovely way to pass by Matt. Enrique gets caught in two mains. Will I get it with a not? It's a poor challenge. And I've got to say, Pepe Reina will be disappointed. He's hitting his hands on the floor, but he scored at the near post. Pepe Reina thinks he's going to shoot across the goal. He doesn't, he goes near with power. He just hits the target and Pepe Reina for me will be very disappointed. A goal in the semi-final and now the opener in the final itself for a player who had a slow start to his Chelsea career. Downing. Suarez. Handball or not? Not, says Phil Dowd. Johnson and there's Bellamy well Liverpool since the goal why didn't they play like this from the start they've upped the tempo asking questions Ivanovic did ever so well terrific block you definitely think this is a goal Glenn Johnson terrific play somebody should be attacking that near post it's a great strike by Bellamy I think that was going in Ivanovic did very very well Drogba, Matter. here's Kalou, Drogba to the goal scorer Ramirez, I think he was in control of that, I think he was in two mains was it, it dropped, uh, it was coming, the pace was coming off it, he did the right thing, who've just joined us, Ramirez scored the goal in the 11th minute for Chelsea Jose Enrique and Liverpool have really struggled to impose themselves upon this showpiece maybe now Downing 
Jay Spearing. Henderson, Suarez. Well, it's a little bit better by Liverpool, but for me, there's nobody in the box. Suarez is attracted to the ball. Jordan Henderson's the only one trying to get in there. All right, Suarez this time, he does gamble. Look, off the cross. He's got a lot of ground to make up as the ball's from Spearing goes to the far post. Henderson comes in early. It's difficult for Suarez to get under. They've got no presence in the box. They can't cross the ball. Nobody in there. Nobody in there at all. It's very easy. Craig Bellamy. Suarez. So, Andy Carroll with a role to play, surely, after half-time. Ramirez, the goal scorer in the 11th minute. Maybe a question mark against Spearing, possibly against Enrique, certainly against Pepe Reina in the build-up and scoring of the only goal of this 131st FA Cup final, the first ever tea time final. Maybe Liverpool think it's an evening kick-off, because they ain't played yet. Chelsea 1, Liverpool 0. Liverpool with 45 minutes to try and turn their season into something meaningful. All they have to show for all that expenditure is the Carling Cup. It won't be deemed enough. If it's a cup double, maybe it buys them a bit more time. Well, I think what they've done, which is positive, Spearing and Gerrard centre midfield, Henderson right, Bellamy goes up front with Suarez. So a change of formation, but not of personnel by Kenny Dalglish. Enrique. Liverpool attacking what is the makeshift cop end of Wembley. 25,000 Liverpool supporters inside. Gerrards. The idea was nice. Question was asked, not by the player, but by the fans. No, he just ran in the back of Ivanovic. It was a great run, goes past Lampard, tries to flick it one way and go the other. Henderson. Hager. Suarez. Deathly for Downing. Henderson. Kalu. Lampard, Mata, goalkeeper was rooted as Aga dealt with it. Well, the game's starting to open up now, Liverpool having a few attacks, sorry, Chelsea look good on the counter-attack. Should make it a better game. Mikel, Lampard. Here's Drogba. Didier Drogba! The first man to score in four FA Cup finals. Chelsea's Wembley wonder does it again. I've got to say, John, he hasn't had the best game I've seen him play. He sticks at it, he's a presence, he works for the team. Well, that was a typical Drogba goal. Just receives it, half a yard, hits it, knows where the goal is, hits it nice and early. It's a good move, Lampard, lovely reverse pass to Drogba. There you are, just slips in Spearing. But he just gets that yard, look, the defender backs off, backs off. He just wants that half a yard. He pulls the trigger nice and early. Look, oh, there you go, Reina can't get a position off it. And it goes in the bottom corner. Not the best touch, but good hit early, bottom corner. And that's what he does well, Jogba. And well, Chelsea playing a cup final, the price of the ticket usually includes a DDA Drogba goal. And so, D 
Didier Drogba having stamped his mark on yet another state occasion of English football. Liverpool have taken note and they are bringing on their totemic striker. Spearing, the midfielder who was partially at fault for the first goal is withdrawn. And now Liverpool have Suarez and Carroll as a unit. Yep, Andy Carroll, very much a presence up there. We've got to get the ball up to him and feed off him and get close to him. Agger. Chelsea's hour, but not yet Chelsea's cup. Downing. Suarez. Came off Mikel. Here's Drogba. Lampard. Now Kalou. Oh, that's neat from Drogba. And then as he drew back his leg, Suarez caught it. And the referee took a tumble too. I thought Suarez brought the referee down there, not Jog. By the way, he went down. <laughs> I think he felt well, he's going to get kicked. And he goes to say, what's the referee? Oh, he's just got out of the picture. Suarez is unlucky. It's a great dive by Jogba, by the way, after. But I thought that was a dive by the ref as well, frankly. Can't yellow card yourself, though, can you? <laughs> Well, one big name player has stepped up to the plate in Drogba. Suarez has yet to follow suit. What's going through Lampard's mind here? Well, 2 0 up, hit it. Just hit it at the target. The, the balls move everywhere, hit it. Lampard off the long run, it swerved. Rayner in the end, reasonably confident that it was swerving wide. Yeah, it's a good effort. Long way out, a lot of power. Ball moves everywhere. Rayner would have had it anyway, but it's a good effort, look. Just moves away off the target. Worth an effort. 2 0 up. Chelsea, two thirds of the way towards a fourth FA Cup win in six seasons. Suarez. And here's Mata. Ramirez outside him. Lampard. Kalou. Mata. Drogba. There's only one thing indeed in Drogba's mind when that ball came to him, wasn't it? It was always going to shoot. Doesn't matter how it came to him, he was going to have his pot a shot yet. Yeah, and he does. He, doesn't stri he strikes it well. It's kind of hit the target. One thing in his mind, Mata does well to flick it over to him. He wants to shoot across the goal, goes in the same then. Suarez. That's for Singwa. Oh, it'll come for Carroll! Andy Carroll! Liverpool are back in this final! And the ponytail striker who decided the semi-final reinvigorates the showpiece occasion. Oh, we were saying he should have been on earlier. That is a great goal because he should have hit it first time. I think it's Basingwa who messes up. Basingwa here tries to clear it. It's a good challenge. He's onside. And there for me, he hit it. He doesn't. He never panics. Goes back onto his left. Beats John Terry into the roof of the net. It's a great goal by Andy Carroll. Little trick. High into the roof of the net. Well, Liverpool back in it. Look at that. Quick feet. Sends John Terry the wrong way. High up above check. Roof of the net. 2-1 game on. He's got the crowd going and hopefully he's got Liverpool going. We've got the game on now. Liverpool fans turn to holler their team on. Suarez. Carroll. Henderson. Well, they've actually found the tempo. It took them 64 minutes or 63 minutes it was. They've actually got it together now. Suarez, ball. Andy Carroll again involved. Not a good strike by Henderson. John Terry, definitely with rather more to think about now. He and Ivanovic with Carroll contesting every aerial challenge. It's 
not just in the air that he's doing his damage. Neat for Bellamy. Three waiting for him. Clicks off the top of Terry's scalp. Enrique. Gerard. Downing. Glenn Johnson. That's a terrific spell. We've waited for Liverpool to turn up. It's took them 63 minutes. They've scored a great goal. And now they're all over them. They've raised the tempo. And Chelsea do look unsettled. And a little bit leggy. Gerard. Bellamy. Johnson. Gerrard. Oh, made contact with Carroll. There's Downing. Carroll is all over this. There's Gerrard. When you're on about the West Ham game, it was lining up with Stephen Gerrard there to put them back into the game, wasn't it? Like he did at Cardiff that time. Andy Carroll again. Since he's come on, he's been absolutely excellent. Look at that header there. And you fancy Stephen Gerrard with the technique he's got. Oh. Downing. Bellamy. Henderson rushing off Matter. Suarez has found an angle. And Petr Cech called into meaningful action. That's the first we've really saw. Luis Suarez, what we know he's good at. Dips his shoulder a couple of times, thinks about the shot. That would have went probably in the bottom corner. Check takes no chances. Gerard with the corner short. Enrique. Aga. Tell you, John Chelsea have switched off him. I don't know if he's got he's got three subs warming up. I think he needs to freshen up. Maybe Morella's coming on for Kalu or somebody in the midfield. Matter looks tired. He's got to change it because it's all Liverpool. Johnson, Suarez. Johnson's ball. Andy Carroll's header. I just think if he started first half, he's, he has rattled his two centre halves since he's come on. Full energy, scored a great goal, and he's a presence. Just hang the ball in there, look at that. Just simple cross. He gets up nice and early. He's trying to claim a corner out of it, which Phil Dowd will have nothing to do with. Suarez Downing it's in again Suarez Henderson Louis Suarez odd glimpse of him today not performed to what we expect from him definitely not he did a Carroll Road he's just there in great position he's been in a few good positions wasted it and Henderson's got hit the target Torres has been called back. Liverpool have a habit of scoring late in FA Cup finals. They trailed Arsenal at this stage in 2001. Michael Owen turned that one around. Gerrard's equaliser in 2006 was in stoppage time. And here is Steven Gerrard. Glenn Johnson. Suarez. Carroll! It's not been given. Liverpool are convinced. And Suarez and Henderson have gone across full of bile into the face of the referee's assistant Andy Garrett who has flagged no. Phil Dowd has got some sorting out to do now well, I'm going to say it's a great save I think Andy Carroll should score but we'll see I'm but also just me. wondering about the degree of the descent that was shown he has the incident John it's a Andy Carroll should score 
Oh, I don't know. That's, is the whole ball over? I'd say no. I'll say no. I don't think the whole ball. They might get a better angle from you. No, I think it's a great save. I think that is a great save by Pinatek. I think I thought ho half the ball possibly, but not all of the ball. Well, at least you're saying it was over by a margin, but he would. And how can he tell from 50 yards away? Carroll. Downing. Suarez. Andy Carroll. Another big chance. Block was by Terry. Didn't catch it as he would have wanted, though. Enrique. Downing. Skirtle. Count. It's asking a lot of Johnson. Well, anyway, he'll do at the moment. Andy Carroll, what a chance again. I don't think it was on target, John. I think it ended up going across the middle of the between the six-yard box and the goal lane. Skirtle, Agger, check without a challenge. There's been a little bit of time wasting. Whistle at the referee's lips. The men from the King's Road are kings of Wembley again. Roberto Di Matteo leads the jig. Didier Drogba has won the FA Cup for Chelsea. For the third time, he has scored the decisive goal. Ramirez was the player who gave them the half-time advantage. There was a truly gripping comeback from Liverpool. In two weeks' time, Chelsea will stride out in Munich. And they will do so boosted by their victory in the FA Cup final on home soil. Andy Carroll almost single-handedly dragged Liverpool back into this final. And but for one hugely controversial decision, we might well have been heading for extra time. For the fourth time in six seasons, it is Chelsea whose name is being engraved on the most famous trophy in English football. But Chelsea, their love affair with the new Wembley continues. A fourth FA Cup win in six seasons. Czech, Lampard, Drogba and John Terry. The Chelsea pensioners have delivered. They are not yet ready to be consigned to history. They're more intent on making it.